Dunwoody Merville, Assistant Professor of Low Brass at Southeastern University. And I want to take the time to discuss some pertinent details students should consider when preparing for the 2020 Florida All-State Auditions for Tenor Trombone. I will focus on the 11th and 12th grade technical exercise from the Voxman Selected Studies booklet. When learning the etude, it is advised to implement the slow to fast approach. This will assist with establishing a solid foundation via muscle memory. In regards to phrasing, this etude is pretty limited on places to take a breath. In the first couple of stanzas within the exercise, the goal is to make it to the eighth rest towards the end of the phrase. If this is not feasible, removing the last 16th note and placing a breath at the end of measure four could be an option. The same could be implemented at the end of measure 25 and measure 29. In physics, it is mentioned that the lighter an object, the faster it would be. The same could be said with our tongue game. On the contrary, the heavier the tongue, the slower it will be due to the excess pressure. Because of the extra pressure on the tongue, fatigue will settle in, which will cause the articulation to be inconsistent. In order to be efficient with our articulation, there are two things to keep in mind, interpretation and consistency. In regards to interpretation, it is important to note that the term staccato has more to do with playing light and detached than playing short. If we interpret staccato as short, the tendency is to play pecky. A great illustration of this concept is to think about a running kitchen faucet. What happens when you run your finger back and forth under the spout? Does the water stop? It doesn't. This is the same case with your airflow when playing staccato. Let the water represent your air and the finger represents your tongue. The air, just like the water from the faucet, should remain continuous when playing staccato. To help with keeping our articulation consistent, especially at this tempo, it is important to note that the tongue is best used in a forward upward motion rather than back and forth. This will enable the tip of the tongue to be used when articulating when the middle and the base of the tongue remain relaxed. Keep in mind that the greater the velocity, the lighter the action of the tongue. Lastly, you will note that there are no dynamics indicated on the technical etude. I believe this is an opportunity for us to add our musical ideas into the piece. I would suggest implementing a singing approach to this etude, which will spark ideas on where we can add musical direction to the multitude of notes. Again, my name is Dunwoody Merville, Assistant Professor of Low Brass at Southeastern University, and I hope this video assists in your audition endeavors for the Florida Bandmasters Association. If you have any questions, please post a comment below or go to my website, dunwoodymerville.com.